Hi, I'm Geeta from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to register plugins using pmrip commands in Power Center. Agenda of this video Check the required connector license. Check the plugin XML path on the machine where Power Center server is installed. Run the Power Center repository servers in exclusive mode for registering the plugin. Later, run the Power Center repository servers in normal mode. Let us move on to the demo. You can check for a required license if it is available for a particular connector from admin console. In admin console, click on services and notes tab, select the license and then go to options tab and under connections you can find the licenses available. Here in this video, let us consider an example for power exchange for Amazon S3 connector. So you could see it is available. Firstly, you need to have Power Exchange Connector Server component installed. When you install Power Exchange for Amazon S3, then install your copies Amazon S3 plugin.xml to the server win plugin directory. Let us verify the same. Here we see Amazon S3 plugin.xml file in server win plugin directory. Similarly, an XML with Database or application name will be created in the same folder for any Power Exchange server component installation. We can use this XML to perform next operations. Firstly, we need to change the repository mode from normal to exclusive mode. In admin console, select the repository. Under repository properties, change the operating mode to exclusive mode. Now let us execute the pmrip commands. Execute pmrip connect command to connect to repository in server bin directory. Provide the repository name, domain name along with the username and password to connect to the repository. We see that connect completed successfully. Now let us execute pmrip register plugin command. Now we see that plugin got registered successfully. Change the repository operating mode from exclusive to normal mode. For more information, please refer to registering the plugin section in the user guide. We would love to hear from you. If you have any feedback, please write to us at supportvideos at rateinformatica.com or Tweet to us on our Twitter handle at InfaSupport. Thank you.